Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss McCarty. And um, as we begin our journey to learn about poetry, I'm really excited to share this story with you about a little boy who's trying to do the th same thing that we are doing. Figure out what is poetry? Where does it come from and what does it mean to others? So um, as I share with you this book called Daniel Finds a Poem, written and illustrated by Micah Archer, I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do and as much as my girls do. Um, we love to read this one. So let's look inside and see what he finds out. Daniel finds a poem. Daniel knows all the rocks, trees, and animals in the park. On Monday morning, Daniel sees something new on the park gate. A sign reads, Poetry in the Park. Sunday at six o'clock. What is poetry? Daniel says. He looks up in surprise when he hears Spider say, To me, poetry is when morning dew glistens. Look how pretty that illustration is. Those glistening specks of dew. It is beautiful. On Tuesday, Daniel climbs the old oak tree. He sees Squirrel. Squirrel, do you know what poetry is? Poetry is when crisp leaves crunch, Squirrel tells him. I like that choice of words. In poetry, word choice is very important. When crisp leaves crunch, you hear that C-R, cr cr crisp leaves crunch. It sounds like crunching leaves. On Wednesday, Daniel calls into Chipmunk's hole. Chipmunk, can you tell me what poetry is? I keep looking down in the hole. So Chipmunk. Poetry? Hmm. Poetry is a home with many windows and an old stone wall. On Thursday, Daniel makes a boat with a leaf for a sail and watches the wind carry it across the pond. That would be fun if you've got a creek or a pond near your house. You could make one of those while we're home. That would be a good STEM project. He calls quietly to Frog. Excuse me, Frog. What is poetry? Mm, poetry, says Frog, is a cool pool to dive into. You hear that cool pool? A cool pool to dive into. On Friday, Daniel parts the cattails and finds Turtle. Hello, Turtle. I have a question. Do you know what poetry is? I think poetry is sun-warmed sand, says Turtle. Poetry is different to every animal. I wonder if it's that way with humans, too. On Saturday afternoon, Daniel finds Cricket in the shade of a slide. You see little Cricket? I like finding a shady place outside. When the shadows are long, you think about what time of day that would be. When the shadows are long, Cricket fills the air with music. Is this poetry to you, Cricket? Asks Daniel. Singing at twilight when the day is done? Indeed it is, Daniel. Cricket likes to sing. That night, moonlight fills Daniel's room. He hears a whoo. Leaning from his window, he calls to Owl. Owl, what is poetry? Oh, poetry? Poetry is bright stars in the branches, moonlight on the grass, and silent wings that take me wherever I go. Good night, dear Daniel, she whispers, 
and flies off into the night. Wise owl. On Sunday, the sun wakes up Daniel. He is happy when he remembers it's Sunday. <gasps> Today is poetry in the park, says Daniel, and I have a poem. When did he have time to write a poem? Hmm. <gasps> See if you recognize this. Here's Daniel in front of all of these people telling his poem. It says, Morning dew glistens, crisp leaves crunch. There's a home with many windows in the old stone wall. Cool pools to dive in, sun warm sand to lie in. Singing at twilight when the day is done. Bright stars in the branches, moonlight on the grass. And silent wings that take me wherever I go. On the way home, Daniel stops to watch the sunset sky, the sunset sky, reflecting on the pond. That looks like poetry to me, he says. To me too, says Dragonfly. There's Dragonfly again. Sounds like poetry to me too. Seems like in that book, everybody had a different opinion about poetry. I'm interested to know about your opinion about poetry. What is it? Something beautiful and important to you, I bet. Just like to these animals and to Daniel.